Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks. I hope I don't crash into a car. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. I'm going to get my uncle's trailer. From there, we will find out where the day takes us. I hope it takes us to a wonderful place. Okay, I made it to my uncle's. He's got a similar trailer to what Kyle S has, and I use Kyle S's all the time. He told me I could use this one. I don't know if Kyle's winch is more beefy, or if this one's more beefy. This is a 9,000. I want to say Kyle's is like a 12.5, but I could be wrong. He said he just charged the battery. The ball's right here. So I could use that one, or I became official yesterday, and I got some balls. A tri ball, to be exact. Let's put this thing to use for his first time ever. Look at how shiny this is. This is probably the shiniest thing I will ever have, and I'm about to just totally get rid of that. Booyah! Sham wow. The D-Max officially has balls. Both mentally and physically. We have our target in our crosshairs. I haven't changed it to the Duramax. Let's see if this thing is even going to move. It's been sitting for like two, three, four years. I don't know. But one thing's for sure, I'd like to move it today. Now you guys know me, I hate when things go to waste. This thing has a brand new, a brand new hitch on it that has absolutely no rust on it, has absolutely no paint missing, beautiful, and it's got the heavy duty trailer straps because this is where the chain's hooked up to. It's not around like, you know, where the actual ball goes. It's just on that little tiny piece of steel right there. That thing didn't want to move. The Duramax even had extra weight on the back for traction. For you that don't know too much about the scrapyard, I actually worked at one. Uh, I don't know if I'm proud of that, but uh, what you can do is take like the aluminum wheels off and get extra money for those. You can, you know, have your heavy steels and you can have your short steel and stuff like that. Me personally, I'm not going to worry about the wheels. They can have that extra money. But time is of the essence. I'm trying to cash out. I'm trying to get rid of all my liabilities. I want to get rid of the Samurai and I also want to get rid of that Chevy truck that I mudded like two or three years ago. Blew up the transmission the first day. That's over in the woods. You'll see that from time to time in my videos when we ride. It's like a mile that way. But anyways, I'm hoping once I back this up to it, that 9,000 pound wench will pull this thing because these Fords like to lock up. You guys remember when we took uh, Jake's vehicles back? That's just dog tailing. Their Explorer rear wheels did not want to spin for anything. Bim, bim, bam. Sham wow. Let's load her up. Driver wheel wants to turn, but the, the passenger rear wheel doesn't want to turn. Got the dirty Ford loaded. Now, I was struggling with, you guys saw that this tire wasn't really spinning, so what I did was I took some mud, thanks to the old spot, and this water here, mixed up a nice little solution, and threw it right here, and you can already see it's already dried all up. But it worked so, so good, it slid that back tire like it was WD-40. Right, let's go cash this in, check off one liability off the list. 16,180 pounds. Waiting for the green light. Saying goodbye to the Ford, and the machine freak's even unloading it. And it looks like we're checking out at 10660. Ah, you sucker. Green means go. Green can also mean money. I'm at my house. I'm gonna charge up this battery. I don't know if it really needs it, but I'm going to charge it because I'm going to check the mail and get something to eat while I'm here. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that green money could be a new top end for the KTM. Yes, for this thing, the 250 XCW. It's not the most braptastic right now, but that decal sure looks good. Scrap is up, but it's not good enough to take the KTM back as scrap because the KTM isn't running the best. I took it on a dice run. I took it, I've, I've only ridden it a little bit, but it needs some serious work. It needs a top end, it needs a piston, it needs a ring. And I actually have a whole bunch of parts for it. I'd like to also put some new decals on it and a graphics kit, but a lot of people were wondering where the KTM was. It's in the old garage. It's even got Crush's old windshield on there. And right next to the KTM is the Motron. When I went to do it with Dan's, I think a year, year maybe even two years ago, uh, on my way down there, the seat cover blew off. If anybody knows where I could find one of those, I'd really appreciate it if you leave it in the comment section below. So there's your random KTM update. I know a lot of you guys wanted the KTM at first to be refixed or fixed, but after I mentioned it in another video, a lot of people were saying Honda. So I want to say we're at like 55 KTM and then 45% Honda. We're gonna need another round, you guys. In the comment section below, tell me what you guys wanna see rebuilt. Round two, at least that's what I would like to happen. Now, the ground isn't the driest because it's been raining the last two days. However, today is a decent day. Now we have a dirt driveway with a couple rocks right here. 
someone's been in here recently and it looks like they were spinning but you can see there are some rocks so it, it is a halfway decent road i just figured since the duramax is dirty and scrap is relatively kind of where it, it's down a little bit but it's still it's still decent but yeah this stuff that's no good at all starts doing that about three quarters of the way down dang it Tell you one thing, people were tearing this thing apart. I don't know if I gave permission to everybody here, but uh, I see a gas tank missing. What is this thing, a drive shaft? Yeah, we got a drive shaft missing. Holy smoke, somebody, what the hell happened to this one? Holy smokes, look at that. There's a huge crack in it. Any wildlife, any wildlife using this as a home yet? No. See, I don't find this too fair. I parked this truck over here. I gave permission to my cousins and their friends to take parts off of this thing. I don't think I've seen any money from that, but now it's in a more inconvenient spot. I need to stop giving as much as I do because it seems like I'm just out more time. I moved a little bit. I've probably moved about four feet here. Now this side of the truck is hitting that tree and it's kind of acting as a hinge. Imagine a hinge that's been sitting for three or four years and nobody lubricated it and they used it a million times. It's not going to work the best. Well, this isn't working the best. So what I need to do is bring that front end over this way, but I don't want to disengage the trailer or unhook the trailer because then that's another 20 minutes down the garbage. So I'm going to get risky here. I'm going to get these bugs out of my face, come down here with the trailer. They're, they're swarming everywhere. And then take the winch and hook it up to the front end here and just try to make something happen. I got my machine solving brain going and I came up with something. I pulled the truck in like I said I was going to. I actually, I actually, uh, I hope I can get out of here. I got the cable going to the front end of the Chevy and I have this chain holding onto that tree so the trailer doesn't go that way because that truck was actually pulling my 7,000 pound truck and 2,000 pound trailer. Actually, probably 3,000 pound trailer. So I took that bucket of stagnant water, threw it in front of that tire so it adds some sort of lubrication. Now I'm going 10 seconds on and a minute off here. And you can see that truck is indeed moving. That's probably good right there. Yeah, look at how much we moved it. That's a way better angle. We're not gonna be caught up on that tree anymore. Perfect. Now I gotta somehow back this out. It did creep me a little bit towards this tree, so I'm hoping I can get out of here. Hey, we got this. I answered my own question that battery does not recharge off the truck. Now, if I ever have a trailer like that where I have a winch, it will most definitely charge when the truck is running. So now to keep me occupied while well, well, my brother goes and gets jumper cables and meets me down here and then jump starts that battery and allows that truck to get on, I'm just gonna play with the frogs. That's a pretty big frog right there. He's a handful. All right, here's the challenge. I have to catch at least two frogs before Cole gets here. No, not with a net. Cole, I was challenging myself. I was trying to catch two frogs before you got here, but you definitely did not wait around for like more than two minutes because I literally only was catching them for 30 seconds and the one just jumped away. I just don't follow speed limits. <laughs> what he means to say is he follows the speed limits all the time. Come on. Challenge may be alive, we caught our first guy. All right, get back to your, there you go. Okay, challenge. Challenge complete. This is a different frog. We'll set him down so we can verify that this indeed is the second frog. Here's a talker. I think he could have been a good vlogger. And just like that, Cole's here. He's got some copyrighted music though. I don't know if we can play too much of this scene. That's what I just said. Okay, I think they should be long enough. Yeah, that should pre- Oh uh, yeah, that should work. Didn't get to work? Yeah. It's halfway on. I'm hoping it doesn't slide off the edge here. That rim doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape at all. I can't believe this sucker wasn't on cinder blocks when I came and got it. You know, like in the city, actually when we were going down to Florida, there was a there was a car parked on the side of the road and it had cinder blocks on it on the throughway or the highway. Crazy. The people who did that had balls. And they might have been bigger than those. The scrapyard closes at six. It's currently 554, so we're not going to be able to get this thing to the scrapyard. We're not gonna we're not gonna rush. We weren't gonna rush 20 minutes ago. So it's gonna sit back there.
there. It's stuck. Yeah, it's just it's just been really, really wet and really, really wet, rainy, so it kind of is holding everything up uh, when it comes to moving anything on dirt. So I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. I gotta get home, edit the other clip, yesterday's upload. Stay froggy fresh, don't be afraid to get a little dirty. Until next time, 3D Machines out. Yay!